Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlett Tanager and I'm playing some Zen Saga episode 3. Oh shit, I forgot to turn the highlight light on. Uh, Y'all didn't hear that. I mean, what? It's so pretty and kaleidoscopy. So, funnily enough, Ziggy's ultimate weapon is the only weapon you can't get until this room. Literally. And by this, I mean, you have this room and the next room because there's only two screens of this area. You have to get 99, I think they're called Sephirotic Canes or something, the things that these guys drop, before you get to the end of this area. And it's only like two screens. 99! And it's a rare drop, I think? It's... It sort of reminds me of trying to get Lulu's ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy X. It's just like, who would bother? <laughs> I mean, at this point, it really doesn't matter. I didn't get Junior's either. I have everybody's ultimate weapons except for Junior and Ziggy. Junior because I would have to finish the uh, harvest levels of Hackox, and I'm lazy. Especially once I got Erde Kaiser Sigma, I didn't feel like it really mattered if I had Junior's ultimate weapon. Um, and Ziggy's, uh, yeah, not doing that. <laughs> not fucking doing that. I will eat chocolate, though. Nom nom. Seriously, look at this. This is pretty. This is really pretty for PS2. Hmm. I think I can save over this one now. Famous last words. <laughs> But yeah, two very short screens. And that's it. And then we get to the final bosses. Bonk. He's so pretty. And everything is patterned like the Zohar. <laughs> Excellent. Also, that looks like it's a mile long. It must take them forever to walk up that. All right, this is the last screen. Once we get to the end of this, time for Shion to do the stupidest thing she does in the entire franchise of stupid ass decisions. You think I'm exaggerating? I'm really not. I'm really not. Shion is uh, not bright, to put it lightly. Alright, here we are! Bam! <sighs> are you guys ready for the end of Xenosaga Episode 3? The end of the Xenosaga franchise as a whole? And for Shion to do the stupidest thing she does in the entire franchise? Oh hey, save point! Did I save there? I'm gonna save down here, just in case. I've recorded five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this is my fifth video recorded in one batch, so <laughs> shit can go wrong. Hi, Kevin, you shithead. <laughs> okay, that's enough MV, I guess. Kevin. Shion. And Mary, too. Welcome. Kevin, I... I know. You're scared, aren't you? You don't know what you should do, or even who you are. You don't know where you belong. God, he's such a manipulative sleazebag. You don't need to be afraid any longer. I'll give you those answers. Kevin... I once felt the same way as you do. When this planet was destroyed, I lost everything. Even my sense of who I was. It was then that he appeared before me. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, you mean. Chaos knows. Wilhelm, Vector CEO? Chaos knows and chose not to tell anybody. This is what he said to me. Time for baby Kevin. 
Because of a certain phenomenon, our world is on the path to destruction. The universe is slowly but surely being destroyed. No one can stop it, even if they had the power of God. The universe is going to die? God, that is one hell of a thing to tell a child, Wilhelm. But do not despair. There is one way to save this universe. And that's eternal recurrence? If we are fated to die, then we shall stop our history at a certain point and restart it. And we shall repeat that process eternally. How do you feel about our world? What do you want to do with this world that drove you into the pit of despair? I hate the world. A universe like this one is better off gone. And then I can live in a new universe with mom. That's not how that works, kid. That's a good answer. You should accomplish that dream. I'd be happy to aid you, Kevin Winnicott. God, you're such a craver, well, um... He'd been preparing for this since before the loss of lost Jerusalem. Ormus, Vector, even the Federation all existed under his will. After that meeting, I joined the Zohar research team as Joachim Mizrahi's assistant to prepare for the day that would come. To awaken Mary Magdalene, I created Cosmos as her vessel. In it, I placed her consciousness, which had dissipated in the UMN and entrusted her to you. Word and vomit exposition. <laughs> So, everything went according to plan? I feel sick just hearing it. You heard him, Shion. He planned everything from the beginning. He was just using you as well. Kevin, when you died, was that all just an act? No, it was real. I died on that day. In order to obtain power, it was necessary to cast aside my physical body. I needed to deepen your bond with Cosmos for Mary's awakening by removing myself from your life. I can't believe it. Yeah, he literally was the one who orchestrated the um the Berserk Cosmos incident that killed him and a whole shit ton of researchers. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you played the games because even in the first game, you see the person who handed Cherenkov the activation codes for Crazy uh, Crazy Architect Cosmos, and you can see Kevin's hair in the fucking. Um, underneath the dude's hood. <laughs> you've gotta be kidding me! Everything you've done has been a lie! You're the biggest con I've ever met! Accurate. Xion, I'm sorry about what I've done to you. But I want you to understand. To save you and the world, I had no choice. You fucking gaslighter. With this power, I can free you from the terror of death. I can spend eternity with you. No, what yours and Wilhelm's plan is, is to restart time and then keep and then let it go and then restart it again and then let it go and then restart again and let it go and then restart again and let it go. It's not like spending eternity with her. You're just going to force her to watch you die repeatedly in every single cycle. I want to save you, Xion. Kevin. Time for Alan to be a badass. Alan's the best. I love Alan. How can you say that? Alan? Alan is the one who truly loves Shion. Fuck Kevin. <laughs> you try to make it sound good, but in the end, all you were doing was using her. It's to protect her life. See, as much as I hate on Shion, and as much as I hate on Kevin, this cutscene and the coming cutscenes just... Is Alan's moment to shine. This is the entire reason he came along with them from the Elsa, let's be honest. You think you're allowed to do anything you want if you think it'll protect someone's life? That it's all right to ignore the chief's feelings? I refuse to accept that way of doing things. See, th this is why I'm an Alan fangirl, is these cutscenes. You refuse to accept it. Do I need to request your approval? The fact is, she will die. Are you saying that you will accept Xion's death? That you will abandon Xion to her suffering? No, I... That's... But... Gaslighting motherfucker. Pathetic. If the world could be saved through passion, 
all of this would have been unnecessary. Now, come, Xi'an. You've done more than enough. You don't need to sacrifice yourself anymore. It's all right to think about your own happiness. You know, don't you? That there's no place for you there. See? See? He's such a gaslighting asshole. <laughs> Cause like, all of her friends, they have gone out of their way to show. All of her friends have been like, we love you, we care for you, are you okay? Do you need anything? <laughs> like, <pfft. sighs> Time for Shiana to do the dumbest thing she does. Chief, don't go. Listen, you bastard. Leave Shion alone. Yeah. Stop. Don't hurt him. Shion, are you serious? Shion. Jin? Shion, you know what he's trying to do. There is a shadow in his heart. And yet you still intend to go with him? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I'm tired. I don't want to hurt anymore. None of you saved me. Only Kevin has made a place for me. Fuck up, Shion. None of you love me. Only Kevin loves me. Despite the fact that you guys have spent the whole game worrying about me and asking me how I'm doing and how I'm feeling and trying to be friends with me. Shion, none of us want you to suffer. Don't you understand that? I do understand, but that's why I hate it. I've had my fill of pity. <laughs> None of you have made my place a place for me, but I've had my fill of pity. <laughs> and isn't it already too late? It's not like you understand other people's feelings. And then she goes out of her way to emotionally, like, gut punch her friends. If you had, Pellegrin might not have had to die. That is too far, for one. And for two, Shion is a toxic friend. Yeah, Shion's toxic. Shion! Chief, that's not true. Shion is a toxic friend, confirmed. So then you're serious about this? Yes. That's right. I've decided that I'm gonna go with him. Don't interfere anymore. I understand. Jin, stop! No matter what happens, I intend to do what I must to save our world. Make sure your decision reflects that. But Jin... Now Xion's got Xion! consequences! Stop this! There's still time! You've got to listen to him, Xion. Please don't go. Now Xion's starting to realize what the fuck she just did. <laughs> That's enough. Just give up. Xion has made her decision. Your roles are over now. Stand down and listen to the words of God. I mean, Cosmos's isn't over. You still need Cosmos. Hell, I will. Look, Xion. If that's what you're gonna do, I'm not holding back. I'm bringing you with us, even if I have to beat you up. Yep. <laughs> I get to beat up Xion. I get to beat up Xion. I get to beat up Shion. <laughs> I am way too happy about this. And even though I don't need to, do I have the ability? No. Do I care? Also no. Okay, fuck it. Um, it's a really good idea to steal from both Shion and the Red Testament here if you're looking for completionists. Because um, both Shion and Kevin have specific items that are alternate costumes for Shion in them during this battle. So if you ever play this game yourself, make sure that you steal from both Kevin and Shion in this specific fight. Because I don't think stealing from Kevin in the next one counts. Rip. <laughs> I want this to end. Please understand. You brought this on yourself. Jerk! <laughs> Shion, you brought this on your own ass! Entirely brought this on your own ass. Stop! Please stop this! Get out of the way, Alan! Yes, 
I'm afraid I'll have to ask you not to interfere. No, I won't move. Chief, guys, everyone get a hold of yourselves. What are you all trying to prove by fighting like this? We're trying to prove to Sheon that she's being a dumbass. I've had enough. I didn't come here to do something meaningless like this. I mean, you only came here for this cutscene, let's be honest, Alan. <laughs> We're all fighting to protect the universe so we could all survive, right? You still don't understand? The cries of the powerless is what's meaningless. Your pathetic voice will reach no one. That's enough, Kevin. Are you saying you're the only ones who can save the world? Are you saying that it's impossible for us? Exactly. You cannot save the universe or Xion. That's not true. Everyone here is resolved to face this fight. No one can laugh at that resolve. Resolve? Do you think we testaments lack resolve? Yes, that's like entirely your guys' problem and the reason you become have the ability to become testaments in the fucking first place. <gasps> yes, you lost confidence in your ability to live as human beings and just ran away. Because they were scared of death. Because they couldn't stand being weak. Alan's just dropping truth bombs. <laughs> Virgil, Voyager, Uriev, and even Ormus. They were all just trying to run away from the harshness of reality. The power of the testaments? All you're doing is using that tremendous power to run away. Then are you saying you have that resolve? You have no power. You can't even win the heart of the one single woman you love. What resolve does a man like you have? That's right. I'm a weak human being. And to you, I'm only an insignificant, powerless creature. But I'll never leave the chief and run. Boom! <laughs> Kevin ran away from, uh, Xion got himself killed to strengthen her bond with Cosmos. But Alan's like, no, fuck that. I will be by her side. I've been by her side this entire time. I will stand firm on this spot and save her, no matter what. Goddamn right you will, Alan. <laughs> Very well. And then Kevin fucks up by trying to kill Alan right in front of Shion. Also, where's Shion? She's gone. <laughs> there she is. Alan! What's wrong? Weren't you going to stand firm? Landed on his head. It's like broken neck much? <laughs> Alan's a badass. Look at you. You're pathetic. You think you can save Xion? Stop it. Xion. Just leave him alone. Please. He can't even stand up on his own. He can't do anything else now. You really are pathetic, Alan. No, you're How pathetic, does it feel Kevin. To be pitied by the one you love. Do you really want Xion's sympathy that much? Sympathy? You don't understand Chief's suffering like I do. Alan's a badass. I understand her feelings. Her pain. And her sadness. And despite that, she struggled alone to do everything that she possibly could. You don't have any idea how much she's been hurt. Or how she's suffered. How could anyone like you understand? You have no idea how much she's cried. Ellen, please, that's enough! It's alright. You've done enough. Why do you have to suffer like that? Uh huh, Shion. <laughs> you see, I wanted to cry in her place. And I wanted to be the one to feel her pain. Because I wanted to spend my life together with her. I know. I'm gritting all your fucking floor right now. <laughs> 
But I would do absolutely anything for her. So then do you think you can take her away from me? Like she's a possession, Kevin? Xion may find your feelings to be too much of a burden for her. Even if that was the case, the feelings I have won't ever change for her. Like you said, I'm a pathetic man. All I could ever do was watch her from afar. But there's no way I would ever abandon her. Which is exactly what Kevin did. I won't lose to someone like you who has only run away. I'm taking Xion back no matter what happens. All right then. I shall grant your wish. See, does Kevin not realize the psychological damage he's putting Xion through? Because Alan is like her best friend next to Cosmos. <laughs> Mary. Come on, Alan, you got work to do. <laughs> You're almost there, Alan. Cosmos. It's all right, Alan. I too understand your feelings. I can feel your pain. And I can also feel Xion's pain. Cosmos. But I... Let's go now, Alan. Let's go to Xion. Stop! Why are you doing something like this too? What are you doing, Mary? Is this your will? You know that will be defying Wilhelm. I must protect Xion. No matter what, his will is irrelevant to me. I see. Then you truly are a failure. Mary's consciousness changed inside you and awoke as something different. You're not the will of Mary as it should be. Xion, please tell me. Is this what you really want? Do you really want to betray everyone? Doesn't this make you sad? Stand back, Mary! Kevin, all I ever wanted was to be with you. Even if that meant that I was being used. Even if I was being deceived. As long as I could be by your side, I thought it didn't matter. But now I know that's not true. It's wrong for me to sacrifice others for it. If I do that, if I run away into the past, all I'm doing is repeating the misery inside me. But, Xion, what are you saying? I do love you. Dearly. I'm sure we would be happy together. There's nothing that I would want more. But... I can't stand the idea of being the only one who finds happiness. If I can't share it with everyone, then there's no meaning to happiness. And I don't want to be alone anymore. Xion, no. Are you... Are you leaving me? If you force me to choose, I won't hesitate. Stand with them to save this universe. Xion, listen to me. Accept my words, Xion. If you reject me, you will die. Kevin, listen to me. I cannot be with you. I am no longer your tool to play with. I 
I see. But I will not hand you over voluntarily. Instead, I will eliminate those who confuse you. So you guys, <laughs> I noticed um, after I finished the video that I'd accidentally disconnected my microphone during the cutscene. <laughs> so I quickly loaded up the previous save, disabled the frame limiter in my emulator to get all the way to here <laughs> as quickly as possible. And I skipped the cutscenes as well. You have not heard hilarity until you've played a game like Xenosaga at 150 frames per second. <laughs> Everybody was chipmunked and it was beautiful. Also, it's only going to take one Erde Kaiser to destroy Kevin. Maybe two, but when I did it the first time, I went to one. Originally, I thought about it and I almost, um, Decided to say screw it since it was so close to the end of the episode, but I decided to re-record the fight and re-record the end. What was that? And just to show you guys the ridiculousness, hold up. This is what it sounds like when I disable the frame limiter, okay? This is... <laughs> Emulation, dudes. How does it even work? <laughs> I turned it back on, by the way. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of chip monkey. Oh, it took two or it took two or Kaiser segments to kill him this time. Kevin, you fuck. Shion! Come back to me! No! Fuck you. <laughs> Shion's finally grown some proverbial balls. And my last piece of chocolate. Victory chocolate. Why? Is that your will? Is this really the result you desired? Yes. Kevin. Because fuck you. <laughs> Xi'an, you're confused. And you're the one confusing her. You're unable to make calm decisions about where you stand. Because of you! Please stop. I don't want to fight you. Xi'an, I don't want to hurt you either. Why can't you understand my feelings? Why can't you understand her, you gaslighting son of a bitch? <laughs> Stand down, Kevin Winnicott. Time's up. I'm swearing a lot in this episode. <laughs> Wilhelm. Chaos! Jesus! It seems I expected too much from you, Kevin. <sighs> Kevin! <clears throat> and yeah, that's gonna be it. Um... <laughs> That's the little bit that I decided to re-record because I didn't want to have to redo the entire cutscene shit. Um, also, we are at the end, you guys. Yeah. This doorway is the, pa is the point of no return. I go through that door, it's point of no return. And because it's a recording issue and because I'm gonna have to edit some more shit, I'm going to end this video here. Also because this game is 99% cutscene at this point and I don't want to be sitting, I don't want to have to have a two hour long video when we're doing the ending credits. So, my name is Ms. Carly Tanager and I've been playing some Xenosaga episode three. I'll see you all in the last Xenosaga video.